Welcome back to part 17 of setting up the Power Platform Center of Excellence. In this video, we're going to be discussing setting up the Power Platform Administration Planning component. Now, it's worth calling out that this component doesn't have a dependency on any other of the COE starter kit components. So basically, what we're saying is you could just use this element standalone. So the first thing we're going to do for this component is actually import another solution. So we're, we're within our center of excellence environment. We've clicked on solutions in the left-hand navigation. We're now going to select import solution. We're then going to click browse, then we're going to locate our extracted COE starter kit download. Now for me, because this is a relatively new component, if you don't see these solutions zip file we're about to mention, ensure that you download the latest version of the COE starter kit download. So with that being said, we're going to go into our, our extracted starter kit and we're going to locate, locate the one that is called admin task analysis underscore core underscore and then there'll be a version number underscore managed. So I'm just going to locate that now. Now with the right solution zip file selected, we're going to click next. As with most of these solution imports, after clicking next again, it'll want us to set up any connections. So we've already got two connections that we're happy with for two of the, the Microsoft Dataverse connector and the Microsoft Dataverse legacy connector. However, we'll now set up one for the Excel online business connector. So we'll just click on new connection It'll take us to connections. It'll then go as if we've clicked on setting up a new connection of the Excel Online Business Connector type. We'll click create, select suitable credentials. And now that this has been created, we can come back, click on refresh, and it should automatically populate with the connection that we've just created. We'll now click on import. As this could take a while, I'm just going to pause the video until we wait for this to say successfully imported. Now that the Power Platform Administration Planning solution is successfully imported, we're going to click into it. And once loaded, we're going to click on apps in the left hand navigation. And we're going to locate an app called admin tasks, which is the only app. We're going to launch into this. So this is a model driven app. And from the command bar, we're going to select import from Excel. So if like for me, if you click on the three dots here, you've got import from Excel. Although just be careful, if you do literally click on import from Excel, nothing will happen. You have to come over to the kind of right chevron and then import from CSV. In fact, scrap all of that. I noticed that we were in the editing of the model driven app. So I clicked on play in the top right hand corner, or if we were to come back a step, the better course of action would have probably been when within the solution. If you just click on the three dots, and then do play. So we'll just close up these tabs that we don't need. And then once loaded, if we then click on import from Excel, choose file. Again, we're going to be browsing within our extracted COE starter kit, and we're going to import the sample task data.xlsx file. So we can see we've selected this file. We'll now click to cancel that prompt. We'll now click next. So 
try again, select and then click next. We'll then click review mapping and we can select the fields that we want to import. Now, if, if you're new to this, Microsoft recommend that you just import all sample columns and data because this is an optional step. This is trying to give you a head start on the sort of tasks that you would want to perform, but you, you don't have to have these and you can, of course, add your own, which is the whole purpose of this app. You can add in additional ones, but this is just giving you a good starter for 10. So we'll just leave everything as is and we'll click on finish import. And we'll close out of this. So now, whilst that's bringing in the data, we're going to set up the Power BI dashboard associated with this. Now, I'm not actually sharing my instance of the Power BI desktop app, but if you watch an earlier video in this series where we do the main Power BI dashboards, it's the same process, but just selecting a different Power BI template file. So within Power BI desktop, you would go to file, you go to browse reports. Within our extracted COE starter kit file, we're gonna locate our relevant pbit file. So I'm just gonna make sure that we are within the right one. Make sure that you're selecting to show files of all so of the pbit type, by default, it may be looking to just PBIX. And we're going to select the, what are the Power Platform Administration Planning.pbit file. Again, as with the others, it's going to ask for our org URL, which we can obtain by coming to the Power Platform Admin Center, clicking on environments in the left-hand navigation. In our case, we're selecting our Center of Excellence environment, and we're going to take the environment URL. Now, in this instance, we don't want to include HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash at the beginning, nor do we want to have the trailing forward slash at the end. Once it's loaded after providing the URL, you would click on publish. It will ask you to save it locally. I'm just going to call it administration. So it'll save as administration.pbix. It will then come up and allow us to select a suitable workspace to save it to. So I'm going to choose our center of excellence workspace, click select, and wait for it to publish. So if we now move on over to app.powerbi.com, We'll click into our center of excellence environment. And we now have this administration Power BI dashboard. Similar to what we've done for the other ones, we'll probably want to come in, go to settings and ensure that the data refreshes at a suitable interval. So we'll just give it a daily one. come back and just take a quick look at this. So if we click into the report, it should look something similar to this. And you can see the various tasks. And obviously you can go into the underlying table and change things such as kind of frequency, task duration, and so on. And, and of course, adding your own tasks as well. And if we just come back over, since the import has happened, and we clicked on refresh, we can see all of the tasks here. We can change the metadata, and equally we can remove and add our own tasks. So we're gonna leave that there for now. In the next video, we're gonna discuss setting up the theming components. Thank you for watching.